A month after releasing the Titan II Windows Phone handset, HTC is back with its highly anticipated Android phone, the One X. And I can't wait to see what's inside this ice cream sandwich powerhouse. I'm Bill Detweiler, and this is Cracking Open. Given that the One X and Titan II look alike and are both from HTC, it seems logical that they would have a similar internal design and be cracked open in roughly the same manner. But no. Unlike the Titan II, which has a three-piece back cover held on with screws, the One X has a single-piece cover which snaps onto the device's frame. So using a thin metal tool, I started near the bottom of the display and worked my way along the edges, popping loose the cover as I went. After lifting the display and frame assembly out of the cover, we got our first look at the phone's hardware. And it's immediately apparent that the One X's internal design is significantly different than the Titan II's. The main circuit board is mounted above the battery and partially protected by an internal cover. The board extends along the phone's left edge and eventually meets up with a smaller board that's used for the docking connector. And it was when removing this board that the One X reminded me why HTC devices can be a real pain to crack open and reassemble. Instead of conveniently placing the battery and display assembly connectors on the side of the motherboard that faces the phone's outer cover, the One X's designers put connectors on both sides of the board. Now, this makes it very difficult to reattach the connectors when you're putting the phone back together, and it means that you'll need to remove the motherboard to replace the battery. Why HTC did this on the One X when they didn't do it on the Titan II is just beyond me. But enough of my griping, let's look at the rest of the hardware. The One X has a 4.7 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 720, an 1800 milliamp hour battery, an 8 megapixel rear camera, 1.3 megapixel front camera, and a Beats audio speaker. Looking at the chips, our US version has a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm S4 processor, 1 gig of RAM, and 16 gigs of storage. Now this, for me, is a bit disappointing when the phone's European variant has a quad core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor. But the loss of raw processing power may have an upside. The One X's Qualcomm chip contains both the application processor and a 3G LTE modem. Now this eliminates the Tegra 3's need for a separate modem. Given that both variants have a battery with the same capacity, U.S. buyers may get a little bit better battery life. And as CNET's Brian Bennett notes, the One X flies through Ice Cream Sandwich and HTC's Sense Overlay with oomph and agility. Rounding out the One X's other major chips are an InvenSense three-axis gyroscope, Synaptic touchscreen controller, and Audience EarSmart voice processor. Despite its lack of a quad-core processor or micro SD card slot, and my complaints about its internal design, the One X gives Android fans in the U.S. a lot to be happy about. As of this taping, it's available for $199 with a two-year AT&T contract, or $629 without. To see more teardown photos, check out my full Cracking Open gallery at techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. For CNET and Tech Republic, I'm Bill Detweiler, and this has been a Cracking Open of the HTC One X.